put this festival on, you bastards! Okay. Excuse the sunglasses, I'm hungover. Uh, this is supposed to be some kind of wrap-up video, but I'm running out of time. I'm going to go watch The Flash later. Also, this house just looks like a warehouse at the moment. Boxes of stuff everywhere. Um, I'm Ben, or Chidsvids. Um, this download festival was my 13th download festival. My first one was in 2009. Um, it wasn't on my radar. Festivals just weren't a thing I was interested in. But once I got in there, I completely fell in love. And I've been going ever since, except to the pilot. I was done in 2009. I was in a bad place. I meant 2019. Uh, excuse me. Got a bad hangover. Does anyone know where I can get any good fish and chips? <laughs> I quit my job. And I was at the point where I was like, well, you either try and change things in your life. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. This is, this is ridiculous. Anyway, so Dallas Festival's over. I've just got over the um, festival blues. And it hit hard this year because I'm living alone and I've spent the entire week off work dealing with house stuff. Vlog to follow, maybe, if I could be bothered. Releasing it. I have filmed something though. Uh, again, I'm rambling. I'm too tired. I've had to put the sunglasses on because the, the light on this is making my headache worse. So, um, this yeah, this is just uh, footage that I filmed on my video camera. Completely different footage from the first one. Oh my god. This is going out how it is. Screw it. I was going to spend a lot of time on this, but I haven't. Sorry. Right, let's sort this mess out then. What have we got? What haven't we got? Sleeping bag, tent, uh, popcorn. <laughs> I'm not going to bother explaining that. Waterproofs. Okay, we got too many clothes, but I'm taking them anyway, just in case it rains. Backpacks, sort that out later. Consumables, alcohol, I'm going to have to go buy some more stuff today, actually. Got ibuprofen because I get a headache, a couple of nutritional shakes. Um, two dragon soups, one of these, I should have got more of these, and less of them. We'll find out because I haven't tried either of them, actually. <sighs> Sleeping bag, pillow, tent. Waterproofs, towels, little bag for going in the arena. Not even sure if I need them because they've got a lot of caffeine in them anyway. Bomb bag, electricals, chargers. Right, I believe these are all fully charged. Oh. Yep, yeah, all fully charged. That one's on 99%. The idea is to bring three, four, like, Vlogging, just for like vlogging and stuff. I might take my uh, headphones with me. They're on charge actually. I'm gonna bring my headphones with me so I can listen to music and stuff at night because I don't sleep much. <laughs> Horse heads. I haven't brought one of them since 2010. This one actually, which is kind of knackered. And Phil. Phil's alright actually, he's, he's always been kind of disfigured. <laughs> anyway. Hats. Um, I've always brought this one. That one's new, I like straw hats anyway. That was from last year, so I might as well make it a tradition that I bring these two with me. Uh, Henry the... Henry the Hoover cap, just because. Duct tape, in case I need to repair anything. Hmm. Toiletries. And shower in a can. Now, I don't know if this stuff works. Hopefully it does, because I really don't fancy queuing for the showers. But it's supposed to last at least, like, 20-odd showers or something, it says. 
I can't remember how to apply. I'll read that later. But yeah, I thought I uh, I found that on Amazon, five ninety nine. Gonna have to run to the shops, maybe get some snacks. Although there is a co op there, so I might save myself some time and not bother. I could do with some more alcohol though. Do I really need alcohol? I can get the alcohol there, can't I? Guess I better put all this in the car, aren't I? Oh, the airbeds. So I've got a single and a double. I'll take this. I'm going to pump it up in a bit. See if it works. I think I'll leave the double here. There's no point bringing a double one, is there? I'm just a lonely loner. Seems good to me. Might have a nap, actually. Gonna try and wrap the pillow and the pump and the mattress and stick it in this section behind this bag. My friend's just been here for a couple of hours. We had a few beers and I was just going over the footage that I filmed today while I was editing it. I have my camping chair. Oh great, I've taken the cover. I think... And probably lost I think the that's the cover for the... I think that's the cover for the chair, so I might go back and see if I can't locate that. It's the time now. And it's 12 minutes past 9, so I'm gonna... <clears throat> drink this, make sure this footage is all complete, then go get that chair cover. Exciting content on the documentary version of this. Now, Ben, voiceover, take it away. Tell me you're old without telling me you're old. Yep. Right. Back at the shed on the same day, but different vlog. Because <laughs> I thought I saw the cover for the chair. That's not what that is either, is it? Ugh. Bollocks. Ooh, wait a minute. That's my old chair! <laughs> so, I didn't I thought that was the cover for the new chair. But there's my old Download Festival chair, even better. Wow. And my old wellies. Oh, I just bought a new pair. <laughs> uh, oh well. Two pairs of wellies. Probably from previous downloads. That's crazy. I should have looked here in the first place. I wonder what state this is in. And there you go. A spare chair. Ugh. That's definitely my 2019 chair, isn't it? All the mud on the bottom. It's just gone 10 o'clock. Gonna have to set an alarm. Set an alarm for quarter past three. Or 14 minutes past three, whatever. Ugh. That'll give me time to have a shower and sort everything out in the morning. Meanwhile, I've got an apple pie to get rid of. And I might as well have the last beer too. Ah, you bastard. Yappa pie. I'm gonna have to go to bed, it's five to 11. Ugh. Time to get up. It's not often I say this, but I am tired. <sighs> Don't know why I brought the camera in the shower. It's not waterproof. Something to listen to in the car on the way. I'm actually on this one. That's not why I want to listen to it, though. <laughs> I want to listen to the rest of it. Anything download-related. Ah. Ah. 
I'm only like 15 minutes late maybe. I'm sure they're not gonna be on time anyway. Nobody ever is. What do I do with my keys? Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> I am meeting Simon and them at Tamworth Services around half seven. It's now quarter to five. Because I'm, because I'm meeting Simon at Tamworth Services, it looks like I might have to go through M6 Toll and pay for it. So, if we meet, if we meet up again next year, if I, if I go next year, uh, I don't think I'll be doing this because I'm too much of a cheapskate. Uh, I've got to stay on here for another 12 miles. We'll see, man. We'll see if I have to pay. I'm gonna have to fish out my um, stolen credit card. Why did I say that? I'm so tired. Stolen credit card. I'm gonna arrive at exactly half past seven. <laughs> it's like I timed it. Third exit onto Hins Bypass, A5. Fucking hell. Experience. Um, I'm at the toll. Like I'm gonna be three minutes late. I'm stuck in traffic. To me that how, how I apologise. I know, um, you know, I know you're expecting me to be really early. Uh, <laughs> I forgot my blue tack, so the camera keeps moving all over the place. Okay, here we go. Services. So we all managed to actually meet up within 10, 15 minutes of each other. Just following them all now. We got a great big convoy. I'm trying to keep uh, behind Carter because until I see signs for download, I don't know where I am. This is a new one on me, stuck in traffic. Usually I, I arrive pretty early. Or I'm not surprised it's sold out. So look, there's shitloads of cars that way. Just having a look at the weather while I'm stuck here. Looks like rain on Saturday and Sunday now. Ah oh, well. Ah, bloody bushes. Staff member just now saying. Nearly there. Reminded me of Pet Cemetery. Not much farther now. It says just the top of this hill. So, five past oil, like I said. It's oil o'clock now. I can't use that joke on both vlogs. Well, tough shit, I am. It's oil o'clock, 10 o'clock. Nice spin kick, so athletic. Just like you like CM Punk when he injured his fucking. It's not about windows. That is the All right, it's middle much class. Fucking <laughs> something or other. Planning permission. Well, you didn't get you. No, I was just trusting you. Well, it's all right, guys. I got a pop-up tent. The only issue we had last year was because one of the windy. He did it. Can you go the other end? No, I wasn't going to. Right. How do we do this again? The outside bit first. Yeah. Oh my god. That's it. Can't fix. I might have lost the tube for the pump. <laughs> uh, yeah. What did I do with it? <sighs> Time to take the cap off. Jesus. Ow, shit. <laughs> cut myself in the eye. I'm wearing glasses. You think I would not have cut myself in the eye with a peg? Yeah, you bastard. 
Right, where's the hose for my pump? Oh, you beauty! I did bring it. See, I'm only half stupid. We'll be right back. Engine, gin, gin in a tin. Tin cup, this is our camping. With a San Pellegrino. Please don't spill after Sandero 4 expert. Just. Oh, Adam. <laughs> Not your brother Adam, your brother Adam. Oh, <laughs> I can't explain why my knees are burnt. I don't burn. Why the fuck are my knees burnt? Same as last year, I'm not going to use both of them, right? Yeah, I'll need one on that. You're the youngest. I'm, I'm the oldest. You're four. Yeah. I'm the oldest. Yeah, I'm four. <laughs> 24. You're the youngest. Still the baby. 24. So I've been grooming gentlemen. him for years. <laughs> I will bomb you. Alright! Beard's already turning into a Brillo pad. 20 past 3, I'm gonna try and take a nap. Got some ASMR on, leave my phone on charge. Try and get your um, oh, wristband. Move your goddamn hair! But I went about 4%. Don't have a job. I'm proper jealous because I couldn't do this with mine. It's dedication, mate. That's yeah. what that is. I need to learn how to sew. <laughs> Come on, mate. There's, there's there's any... Why are there socks here? Socks? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Oh, he's... Yeah, you do Don't put you your just... comrade in the middle of you the could pile. Just wash them. Right, I've been told not to touch the Budweiser, so this is just evidence, right? I'm not touching your Budweiser. Um, you said you had cause. I can't see cause. Uh, I can't see cause, so I'll go for the strawberry and apple. Cheers. Dude, that's a great idea, though. Yeah. Four place, bags of Skittles and a bottle of vodka. Ooh. The thing is, you have to pace yourself with that four stuff. Four bags of Werther's Original. Four bags of Werther's in there. Oh, sorry, yeah, I've got the lid of the night. That's good. Um, um, they're, they're, it's it so tastes, good. You'd have to, it's like you'd a have mouthful to pace of yourself Skittles. this because it's so oh. sweet. You'd, you'd, you'd yeah, get yeah, really sickly really quickly. I'm here at the car. <laughs> also. Adam wants a spare chair, so I say we need to get the chair for him. Um, I should grab my sunglasses while I'm here too. So for this second video, I wanted to ask people what their first festival was. This is the second time I've been downloaded. This is my it's first like my time. Fourth yeah, your first festival. What was your last year about was our first on? festival? Transmit and then. Download. Last year, 2022. This didn't always work out though, because sometimes I was in a hurry, would forget. As you'll see from this first clip, everybody is super drunk, including myself. And the poor woman, I didn't even get her name, because everyone was just shouting over each other. So apologies to you. I had to go through my phone footage just to get her saying, this is my first time at download. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh shit, I'm fucked. Harry, I love you. Legend. This first festival. Uh, when, was your, when was your first download? Last year. Yeah, 2022. What's, what's your name? Jack. Why'd you come back? Because it's <laughs> fucking unreal. It's the best amazing. place in the world. <laughs> there you go. This is yeah, the boy. best place in the world. Download 2023 best cam. <laughs> yeah, clearly very drunk. We're late to the meetup because this fucking keeps getting we're not. Fucking, this celebrity we're not, we're not. Adam's right there. This celebrity, yeah, I know. He hasn't even got there. Oh come on, let me be, let me, let me, let me talk my up. shit about you, right? <laughs> we're late to the meetup because this fucking celebrity, right? Keeps getting stopped. 
Yeah, they are that, but they're also that. But I'm trying to blame you. Yeah, come on! A guy, a guy literally gave him the shirt off his back. Um, yeah, I've got five of these. I wanted to collect all of them. I just went and gave him a compliment and said, I like your shirt. And he said, I want it. Is that your last one? You got them all then? No, there's probably three or four more that I haven't got. Good shirt though. Yeah. I don't like Iron Maiden, but I like that shirt. I think this is the first time I've ever come to a download festival without one of these shirts. So and somebody gave and you someone one. gave me one. For like, nothing. Yeah, I can't believe it. Ganesh! There's a Ganesh! I don't know what I'm talking about. Yay, churros! Look at the nipples on that tent! Baby! Shake it for me. First album was 2012. Uh, why'd you keep coming back here? So I missed a few years, but we decided to come back because it's just a good weekend away. <laughs> you know, I've done I've done festivals overseas. This one's easy to get to. The bands are always good. I mean, look at the lineup. You you got Metallica twice playing two different complete sets. You're never going to see that again, or at least I'm not because I'm not going to spend the money just to see Metallica on their own. That's probably the last time I ever see them, to be honest. Yeah, Slipknot are always great. And Bring Me The Horizon, as much as I've not been a fan of the new stuff, we've had it on in the car and it is good enough. I yeah. say good enough, it's good because they're headlining. <laughs> yeah. it'll, be, it'll be amazing, they're going to put on their best performance. No. It's the first time headlining. The best band they're going to put on their performance is Guar. Oh, wow. Guar! Oh, well, I look yeah. forward to that. I said I want to get to the front, get covered in blood. Yeah, I'm going to get spunked on by some demon from space today. Uh, today? This week. That's what's going to happen, and you know what? I'm going to be better for it. I'm going to be able to go home and go like, uh -huh. I got chizzed on. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Tell the missus. You said that as well. You were like, I want someone to be cut open, and I want fake blood. Yeah, I want me. fake blood all over me. I'll be happy if that happens. Gua never happened, unfortunately. Uh, my name is George, and my first download festival was 2009 on the Saturday to see Slipknot headline. I was at that one, and uh, yeah, it was it was great. Um, I can't really remember who else I saw on that day. Uh, but that was, that was How many it. times have you been back since? Uh, I think this is probably my sixth, maybe. It's my right. first UK download since 2013. Uh, but oh, wow. I've been to Paris a couple of times uh, to, to their download festival. Uh, I was at the pilot, and then this is my first, I guess, regular one. Since, uh, yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, looks like we're getting good weather for it anyway. I asked Ready to Mosh for their thoughts on their first Allen Festival. I'll probably put that here. Hi, I'm Kev P. I'm Gem G. And we're from Ready to Mosh. And here's some of our thoughts about Download Festival. My first Download Festival was 2004. Back in those days it was a two-day festival. I wasn't intending to go. However, I had a couple of friends who had bought tickets and then they happened to win a pair of tickets. So I was lucky enough to be able to buy their tickets for half price. So it was quite a bargain weekend. I think it was 40 pound, I think, for the two days. That was a bargain. Compared to now, definitely. Yeah. Mine was the same year, uh, 2004, but we didn't go together. No, we didn't know each other then. We didn't know each other then, no. Um, and I only went for the day, which was on the Sunday. So what were your highlights of 2004? Um, starting with the Saturday, definitely Linkin Park headlining the main stage. Yeah. And that is the only time I got to see them live, so definitely treasure that memory. Other highlights on the Saturday for me were the Iggy and the Stooges performance. That was pretty epic, especially at the end when you got loads of people up on stage. And seeing the distillers, they were really good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think who else was on on Saturday. Um, I think Monster Magnet were, they were pretty good from what I remember. And they were about it from what I remember on the Saturday. It was definitely the weaker of the two days, although there were some really good bands on. Yeah. Well, that's why I went on the Sunday. It, mm. it was definitely a stronger lineup, and there were a few things that really stand out. I mean, one was the heat; it was so hot. Yeah, I was going to say overall, it was a really hot and dry, arid kind yeah. of weather. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember I was at that kind of 
age where you don't think to wear sun cream because it's cloudy got very sunburnt. Yeah, I remember it being really hot and watching Hate Breed in the tent. Yeah. So back then there was only two stages, I think. I think there was two main stages. Two main stages, a small small tent. tent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But but the second stage was a was actually a tent, wasn't it? It It wasn't a stage as such. And I remember Hate Breed being absolutely insane and people climbing the poles in the tent. Yeah, I remember. It was just so busy. It was absolutely everybody was buzzing for. Hey, breed. And I think Drowning Pool followed them in the yeah. tent, and that was similar. I definitely remember seeing them and the people climbing up. Yeah, the other things that stood out were being in a pit for Machine Head. That Dave. was, yeah, that yeah. was insane. <laughs> I was just watching the pits, and that was enough. <laughs> yeah, being in, a, being in a pit for Machine Head was absolutely nuts. And, yeah, I didn't do the pits for Slipknot, but Slipknot gave probably the best performance I've ever seen them give mm. in 2004. Yeah, they were good that year. They were, they were really cool. And then that long, long delay... Mm. Uh, for Metallica because nobody knew what was wrong with Lars. Yeah, and the epic bottle fight. The, oh, that yeah, you used to have the banked hill. Yeah, and the bottle fight just went on forever. And uh, yeah, it was it was my favourite Metallica performance because it was so different. I was going to say that Metallica performance. Yeah, I mean it was it was a solid performance by Metallica anyway. But the fact they got Lars's drum tech playing drums, they got Joey Jordison who absolutely nailed it, yeah. and they got Dave Lombardo from Slayer. You're never going like, to see that again. Yeah, you'll never see mm. that again. It was, it was just the best. So what keeps you going back to download then? It's a combination of things. So one of them is, although it's alternative music, it's the variety of the styles that you get. You know, they do book the biggest and the best bands yeah. in the world, but what they also do that's really good is they push smaller bands that you've mm. probably not seen before. And, you know, it's been far and away the friendliest festival that I've ever been to consistently. Absolutely. Yeah, I know it's a bit of a cliche when you ask people why they keep going back to download and everyone says it's like going home, it's one big family, but it is, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, and we've been to various different festivals, similar genres, slightly different genres, but download is definitely the friendliest. And next year is going to be our eighth download. It is, yeah. And I don't know about you, but I can't wait for it. Yeah, I'm very excited for that already. And we've only had one announcement so far. One announcement, yeah. But we'll be back home soon. Yes, definitely. Sorry we never met up, guys. The phone signal was shit. And uh, I'm so bad with faces that I probably wouldn't have remembered what you looked like, to be honest. I kind of do. I think. I I don't think we passed each other. I'm pretty sure you would have stopped me. Hey, drop the lineup, guys. Just want to let you know that uh, it's Wednesday and I messaged you about an hour ago. The message still hasn't gone through. We're fucked. I'm trying. Yeah, fuck that. Vicky, I love you. I love her fucking glasses, man. Love those glasses. <laughs> Under my camera's broke.
down to one in the morning. I don't know where to go. I'm like, I'm, with it. I'm in two fucking things right now. I, I should go to bed. I've been up for like 20, almost 23 hours now. Apart from a like 20 minute nap. I took a tuna noodles. So, uh, all indications say that I'm going to be pretty warm in this. Uh, <laughs> I look so goofy right now. I also look, I, look so, I can see myself in the viewfinder. I look so happy as well. Why am I this happy? I don't know. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, this is the most comfortable sleeping bag I've ever bought. God knows what it's like to buy one of those that are like two or three hundred quid. I can't even imagine. The trouble is I sleep on my side. This isn't really designed for that. I need something to support my hips. So, um, I'll use a towel. There you go. Night, night, driver. I said that in the other vlog. I, I think I said it in the last vlog, but that's... Well, I was closing the tent. Night, night, driver. I can't find the button. Night, here we go. This is upside down. That button is for... Night, night, driver. Time to try this shower stuff out. <sighs> See how good it is. So the shower in the can was good for eliminating odours for a couple of days. But after that you really do need to shower. As in that kind of heat, you become grimy and covered in dust. But it's ideal if you just want to use it for a day or two. Ugh. That's just my face. Time to do the wee-wee parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like the camera's fucked. I don't know. I don't know what's causing that. Seems alright now. Not good. I hope that doesn't mean I've lost all the footage, because <laughs> that has happened. But, um. We're about. Is it, was it, 10 minute walk? Yeah, 10 15. Far. 10, 15 minutes away from the... It's the easiest walk I've done from car to tent by far. Come on, bowels. <laughs> Before the toilets get messy. Oh, the camera's doing that thing again. Right, I found a way to stop it, I think. There we go. This camera is retiring after this download. I don't think it's going to last the entire festival, to be honest, but I'm going to try. Still trying for those two vlogs. Anyway, I brought some stuff up. Some water. My wellies in case it rains. Because it's grey and miserable today. Down it, birthday boy. He's doing his bomb thing again. Gargle it, Simon. Gargle it. Tend you at the dentist, bitch. I like it. You got to think about it. Matter! Get some in your eyebrow. Spit it out. <laughs> Not the slip or something. Yeah, nice. That was our one. Keep going. Zoom in as well. I don't remember still not paying. It's three o'clock. Just took my first dump. That was a real apple drencher, 6.4, woof. That's naughty. Meanwhile, back in the hallway, well, here we are. Oh, is it just me? Or are things getting a little bit tense? Yes, that's a real apple drenching, 6.4, woof.
Hello, it's Cheeseburger Vlogs here. My first download was 2012, the 10th download festival for Metallica. And here we are again, twice. Let's go. Nice. My I'm name's Elliot from Manchester. Yeah. I, my first download was 2019, thanks to Ben here and his <laughs> videos. Good on me. Do, uh, what, have you been going ever since? Uh, yeah. I, I, do, I missed the pilot, but I went last year, and this is my third year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I only missed the pilot. That was the only one I missed. Yeah, that's the one I missed as well. Right, well, oh, yeah. nice to meet you, man. No, it saves you. Have a good one. I can't believe how warm I am in this sleeping bag. I should have got one of these years ago. Oh, these planes, man. Shut up already. They're giving it like some extra welly to them. It's ridiculous. Might as well start the day with one of these and you feel a little bit of a hangover. I've just been out there chatting the lineup and stuff, and I realised I didn't have my phone on me. And this place is a fucking tip. I have no idea where I put it. Searched all through that pile, and it was there. Ay, ay, ay. There's a horrendous queue for the toilets near the, uh, my camp, but I'm going to the car and there's some toilets there. Nobody's there. If, I, if I'd have been in the queue for the toilets there, it would take me just as long to take stuff back to the car and have a poo here and then go back. And probably still have a few minutes to kill. Queue for the toilet starts there. The toilets are there. I left here at nine o'clock. It's now. 25-2, I've been to toilet, I've unloaded my bag, refilled it, spoke to staff, and I'm like two minutes away from the tent. Amazing, I, 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 I would have made it to the car by now, that's it. I just, I just overheard a woman say to her boyfriend, can we just pop into the mega store for a second? The queue is like, just as bad as yesterday. You're, you're looking at 50 minutes, love. There's no way you're getting in there. A second? Oh my god. For reference, if you haven't seen the first vlog, um, I queued over an hour to buy a mug and this t-shirt. And while I was queuing, the hoodies sold out. Wasn't really happy about that. I really like this year's one, except I would prefer the ones with the zip. Because you can wear them in winter then. So this is the beginning of the camp area, where I think we're all the way up there. Not I think, I know. Let's head there now. Fucking Motley Crew, Opeth, bring me their right all the way down there. Static X. Static X, fucking the shit out. No, 
Evanescence was hella busy. Uh, you could barely move up there, and as we were leaving, we were close to getting into a bottleneck. Uh, if they come back, they'll probably be on the main stage next time. So, do you want to start a cult with me? Excellent. People of Earth, welcome to Genexus. To feel something, I know you're dying to run. I want to turn you around. Yo!
So my favourite moment this year, and I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it now, was Amy Lee coming out and not only doing One Day the, but the Only Butterflies Left, but then breaking into Nihilist Blues, which is my favourite Bring Me the Horizon song. It's hard to keep the camera still when your spine is tingling and you're zoomed in so far, because, like, whatever you zoomed in, like, 25 times, every little shake is 25 times the shake. Why am I going into this detail? <laughs> Sun's out already. Fucking nice one. That unapologetic sun. I was rude to remember uh, the bar staff yesterday because I got charged, well, he said 21 pounds something for the three seltzers that I bought. I said, are you sure that's the right price? He said, yeah, and I gave you a discount. And I went, no you didn't. And I walked off. And even, even if he overcharged me, I'm not somebody to be rude anyway I finally the notification finally came through because the signals crap here he did give me a discount so I was rude to somebody who actually gave me a discount Ugh. anyway I'm gonna hydrate and then wash Ugh. these wet wipes look worse and worse every day Ugh. well we should probably eat before we get it, because that mean. <laughs> They're cooking bacon over there. I got all food. Bit of a science experiment going on. The dragon soup and diorolite together. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, half a diorolite. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I've been doing coke. Yeah, yeah, you look like my kitchen. <laughs> like your kitchen. <laughs> He's talking about MSG, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not, um... Madison Square Garden. <laughs> yeah, Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Some he, faded we like, fucking Superman tie. Look at that, that's shit. We were like, oh, we're all gonna get Mali, yeah, but this is only a little bit We've all got. Oh, yeah, you went, <laughs> you went, you went hard, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs>
my mate. Just chilling in the tent. My broken tent. I'll be saying my goodbyes to this tent, unfortunately. It's been a nice run. Got a lot of camping in here. It's on its last legs anyway, yeah. So I might get a new one, but the thing is, do I get a new one for festivals or do I get another small one, not this, for like camping and places I should, basically. You can't be that well hidden in a tent you can stand up in. We could be more well hidden in one of these. Stealth camping. I was thinking of trying it out this summer. I want to go to Bloodstock. As you can hear, Metallica is still playing. I left a bit early. I kind of regret it, but I kind of don't. I need to, um... Oh, I just fancy to chill. Sunday morning. Phone's on charge. <sighs> trying to rehydrate myself. Got a little bit of gin and a little bit of whiskey left. I'll drink them this morning. Like I did yesterday, get drunk early and sober up during the day. No hangovers and you just it's just better sleep as well, isn't it? I've been sleeping pretty well this year because I've been drinking early and slowing down by the evening. Oh yeah, uh, Ro from Dear Download Discord and she's on my Twitter as well. I don't even have Twitter. I meant Instagram. But thanks, Ro. Um, because of you, I'm going to start a collection of badges, basically. It's on my last of us. Bag there. I think actually might have footage of it. Gave me this yesterday. So thanks, Ro. A little uh, Tuesday night tins from the Downland Festival car park. Should call this one a Sunday night swig. Um, because it's coming out today. You can skip ahead like seven minutes. It's just me talking to myself with a camera on the roof of my car. Today's tin is a kind of monster because I need it. I feel like shit. I got this in a four pack for £1.44 in the clearance section in co op before I left, and they're starting to come in handy. Just a quick heads up this camera is um, knackered, and I don't know what to do about buying a new one yet. They're not cheap. I want a decent one. I've got furniture and that to buy, so I've got a budget. If I don't exceed that budget, I'll buy a new camera and I need a new tent also. Uh, I might be going to Bloodstock. I still haven't decided on that yet. I am going to Bloodstock. Bought the ticket a couple of days ago when um, I was going to buy an early bird RIP ticket for download. Then I saw the price. 615 quid, then it was 655, and now I think it's 755, so I won't be doing that. Also, in the budget, I'll just take that money out and try and spend it as wisely as possible. That's all I can do. This is a really crappy angle, but I'm just like winging it right now. My feet and legs are killing me. Other than that, I'm fine, just normal. It's a bit hot, the, the sun is draining. But I've seen it as busy as this here before, so that's not phasing me much. Although every time you do see it busy, you're still like, wow, it's busy here. <laughs> Even though, it's like the weather, you know? You go, oh, it's raining. Yeah, you have to announce it for some reason. It's just something deep-rooted in us to announce I'm uncomfortable or 
it's wet or whatever. We just have to announce everything we're doing. Hence this video. So the festival so far has been fantastic. I've been going harder than ever, I think, and I'm 40 years old. I don't think it's because of the age thing and I'm trying to make myself feel younger. I'm feeling every day at 40 right now. But, um, I've, yeah, I've been, especially yesterday, I went really hard. I'd, I even broke my tent because I didn't know my own strength. Part of that is alcohol, but. So that tent, that'll be staying here. We were stuck in a queue for about 40 minutes because we missed the uh, sign that said Download Festival. I say we, whoever was in front missed it. Uh, I was just following. I'm gonna wear this today because it's not as, I, I got a black t-shirt in the tent. I thought there's no way I'm wearing that, it's too hot. But it's kind of mild. It's cloudy, the sun, the sun is, uh, the sun is behind the clouds, so uh, if it stays like this all day, I'm going to be fantastic and I'll have energy to carry on, despite the fact that my legs hurt. So today there is Bloodywood opening up, then uh, I can't see it because it's on my back. Oh, um, Lorna Shaw, the Who are playing, but I might move stage by then. So I don't think I'm going to see much of anyone today because I actually want to watch as much music. I've missed quite a few bands. I missed Guar, then found out that they cancelled and then heard rumours that they were going to play last night. And I'm, if they did, I missed them again. I don't know. There might not be vlogs for a little bit while I get a new camera. I might still use this for a while until it completely breaks down, but uh, I am worried about losing footage. I'd, I've been keeping an eye on the SD card and it seems like all the footage should be there. Uh, the footage on this camera is a backup vlog though because I've filmed everything on my phone. I've been trying to edit it in the tent in the mornings to give me something to do well because I get up early. I've managed to edit like two days I think which will save me some time when I get home and try to recover from what was probably the most physically exhausting despite the fact that I'm only like 10 minutes away from the car. The walk to and from the car is so much easier, but I've never been more exhausted because I've been like going hard. I've been drinking quite a bit. Uh, other people's alcohol, <laughs> probably more than my own. I do have a bit of whiskey and a bit of gin left, which I will um, consume before I go into the arena. It's now, 12 minutes past nine in the morning. I'm gonna head back, sit outside for a while, probably try and have a shower. That shower in a can stuff is not that good. I mean, it, it gets rid of your smell, but I feel really crusty today. I could do with a real shower. I'm probably gonna film the shower tray and all the contents that come off my body and the color of the disgusting water as it drips into the drain. I'll put that in the end of the vlog, probably. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. It's like, uh, the vlog will be like 40 minutes, maybe. And then the second one, this camera one, probably about the same, maybe more, cause I'm gonna sit down like I'm doing now and discuss aspects of the festival my first time at download, that kind of stuff. The stuff I've been asking other people, which you'll also see on that second vlog. Just trying something different, you know. <sighs> well, this has been nice. I've enjoyed this chat <laughs> with myself. Uh, it's so strange. I was gonna sit down with Adam and do one, but he's been like kind of busy. I, I'm never, I didn't even ask him. He's, um, it's either he's drunk or I just can't find him. <laughs> be be a good time, like first thing in the morning, to ask him to sit down and have a chat. But I'll do it myself, just like I am now. Bleh, 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 bleh. I fancy going to the Appery, you know, the place I went um, last year before Bloodstock. There's a bar, a cafe. 
I'd really like to go for a eggs benedict, like a proper cooked, like breakfast or something. Might do that on the way home though, I might take my time on the way home this year. I'll leave a bit later as well because I seem to be sleeping a little bit better. Probably because um, our camp is kind of quiet. You know, there's none of that shouting going on, not really. You know, none of that chanting and singing and stuff. Anyway, got a lot of movement here today. People going back and forth to the car. My first download was 2003, the first download. I did go to Ozfest the year before that. I honestly don't remember a lot from the first download. I probably remember more from Ozfest than I do the first download. But yeah, I've got a couple of significant memories from the first festival. Uh, one being the bottle fight before Marilyn Manson came on the main stage. We were sat over on... Um, there was a big hill on the left hand side. We were sat on the right. I think it's just like a bit of a, a slight mound. And all of a sudden, just bottles in the air, just going left to right, right to left. And, and people were throwing them from the back down to the front for more bottles. Uh, you couldn't, you couldn't see anything behind the stage. There were so many bottles in the air at any time, but you, you couldn't see through them. It was, it was an incredible memory. It was an incredible thing to see. Uh, especially when you haven't seen something like that before, um, and the other memory is a bit of a bit of a comical one. I'm not sure how many people would have gone, experienced this or gone through it, um, but we didn't know we didn't know what to do with our tickets when we first got there. It was uh, it was boiling boiling hot sun that morning. I can't remember what time of day it was. I think it was. I think we must have got there around eleven twelve ish, and we were we were still queuing sort of three four o'clock um but nobody knew where to queue so me and my friends we got into one of these queues around these circular buildings assuming i think they were quite small assuming that someone at the front was giving their ticket to get into the actual festival and, and after sort of 10 15 minutes of not moving i sort of stepped out and walked around the building and there was no there was nobody taking tickets it was just a queue around a building because it wasn't it wasn't really signposted very well. There wasn't a big entrance like there is now. Um, but yeah, that's one of my first memories. And I've been every year since. I've been every year except the the pilot year. I have a few sort of favourite memories overall um, uh, from from all the downloads I've been to. I I kind of have regretted it, but one being I didn't I didn't go to see kiss in 2008 when they headlined i went to see simple plan on the second stage the second stage was actually on the on the tarmac where the village was this year actually it was such a cool cool set you know i had never seen them before that most people at the festival had gone to see gone to see kiss so the i mean there was probably more than what i remember but it felt like there was only about two thousand people there a thousand people two thousand um, I was quite close to the front, not right at the front, but I was fairly close, and yeah, it was, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, another one, 2007, Dream Theatre on the second stage. At that point, the second stage was behind the main stage. You had to sort of go round the left-hand side of the of the main stage, and the second stage was back there in in a tent. It was a massive tent, um, and I was just sat at the back of Dream Theatre, drinking absinthe. And then after that, went to watch Iron Maiden for their, it was a matter of life and death tour, I think at that point. And, and I was absolutely hammered from the absinthe. Uh, I don't remember a lot from the set, but I think I crowd surfed like three times, got to the front and ran round. I had to get back into the crowd and I did it, did it all again. Um, uh, but yeah, some of the things that I did a big tank coming out for that, for that set just blew me away. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, a more recent one, seeing actually seeing Guns N' Roses for, well, I would say the first time I did see them in 2006 when they headlined, but it wasn't really, it wasn't really a fun Guns N' Roses set. So 2018, saw so many songs. I forgot how many Guns N' Roses songs I liked, how, how much of a fan of Guns N' Roses I actually am. It's maybe not a specific memory, but 
all the whole reason why I kept coming back. Uh, just a camping with friends. The, the the weather for the first four or five years was absolutely amazing. I think the first year it even slightly rained was 2008, I believe. I think it rained on the first day while we were setting up. And uh, I got my sleeping bag absolutely soaked because I left it out in the rain while I was putting my tent up. Um, but before that, it was, you know, it was absolutely incredible weather. There, there was no reason to not go back, you know. It was, it was such good weather. Sat around with friends, drinking, playing gazebo ball, just doing whatever you want, you know. There's no, there's no rules. There's no rules at download. One year, a friend of mine took a, just a giant double-ended dildo and we were walking around with it, just swinging it around. I, I took it up to the doghouse tent one year and nobody batted an eye. Just imagine doing that. In your hometown. That's weird. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, Ben, so much for inviting me on. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Ben. So you got Bloody Wood at 12. Yeah, Bloody Wood, Lorna Shaw. Lorna Shaw, Joey Valance and Bray. Dinosaur Pile Up. I Prevail. Parkway Drive. No, actually, Ghost. Then Slipknot. Oh man, it's a good day. Oh fuck, I missed Creeper last night. <laughs> of course I did. Just entering the arena for the last time. Making sure I'm not filming Vicky so people don't think I've been a pervert. Too late! You already are! I can't fucking giant camera me. If I was behind both of you, people are like, what? <laughs> fucking pervert. <laughs> it's Yorkshire Pud Sunday. That's a tradition of this guy here. I prevail. I'm wondering who can have the biggest circle pit, this side or that side? I'm gonna go on this side. Yeah, I'm thinking that side. I love you all. Open it up. But these pits are pretty fucking big over here, so I'm gonna go fast with that. You guys hold tight. Cinema chairs. I want everything. Yeah, everything. It's, it's just you so can take your whole house in it. It's so fucking expensive, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I had like a, a spare like 30 grand laying around, I'd, I'd probably get everything that's in oh, there. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. All the rest of the arena footage is in the first vlog. Right, I've been laying here about 40 minutes. I feel like I'm just wasting time. I'm gonna pack up and leave, I think. Disconnected. Ready to pair. Shut up. That last day was taxing, man. The sun was like very draining. Of course, I, as you can see on the video, I expended a lot of energy, and the sun was really draining it out of me. By shut up, stupid thing. I knew I should turn that off. I feel disgusting. Like I can't believe this is the second year now where I'm showered. I used to. Sh go off site and shower or at least try the uh, uh, better ways of washing myself. It's now 
oil o'clock at 3.45. I'm setting off. Should be home by half seven at the latest. You know, I'm saying that because I'll probably find somewhere to have a nap. I do need oil. I don't know whether I should bother getting that right now or just run it how it is. So I'm just going to get home, have a shower immediately and go to bed and then then we can talk. Fuller go easy on the monster. Might wet the bed. Alright, let's do this. Fuller go easy on the Pepsi. I really have to go to the toilet and then I'm gonna probably have to have a nap because I'm starting to fall asleep not literally but I'm very close I hope there is open there's nowhere else to go right I just went to the garage and used their toilet and bought two donuts because I thought McDonald's was closed then I realized I need to go for a nap anyway and it actually is open. So I'm gonna try and nap, then grab a breakfast and go back on the road. I'm only an hour away from home. It's not long to go now, it's just, I don't wanna risk, don't wanna risk it. Very tired. Okay, I got like 10 minutes, if that, that's at 17, but I was lying there for a bit, obviously before I got to sleep. Uh, using that as a pillow was probably a bad idea. It probably woke me up sooner than I was gonna. Wake up, I'm just gonna have to press on. I really wanna get home. I'm just gonna destroy these, and then get back on the road. Home, I'm not even unpacking the car. I'm going straight into that shower. It's so dark in this room that I hope that I can just be completely out for a few hours, and be fully rested. Been up since about five past 10. There's also a snail on my front door. You can smell the rain hitting that hot pavement from in here, just like through the keyhole. Are you kidding me? 460 video clips to go through. Wow. This is gonna take forever to edit. All right, I'm gonna try the tactic I was originally gonna do, which is edit the entire vlog on my phone. Just put all the stuff in. So I guess I'll do the, um, the 10 loads of washing that I'm going to have to do. Well, this t-shirt is completely ruined. There's no way that's coming out, all that dust. 10 past 5, Monday evening. I'm about to order myself a curry. This is just an update. This is wash load number one. I've been editing the vlog, that's my phone vlog, but I'm hoping to get it up tonight. I just want to say thank you to uh, Simon and Adam of the Dear Download Podcast. Uh, Simon, thanks for having me again, man. Uh, it's, that's two years in a row now, it's been a great time. Weather's been great as well. Um, I'm recovering today. I've got the rest of the week off. Oh, and Ro, thanks for the badge. <laughs> Uh, what else? Um, I haven't been through the camera footage yet. I don't know how much of it is missing. I was trying to ask people uh, when their first download was and uh, some of the people have stopped me. And for those that uh, stopped me and I didn't stop, I apologize. I uh, didn't get to talk to everyone. I didn't um, stop for everyone, but I tried to stop for most of you. There was one or two times where I couldn't stop and um, yeah, to you guys, I apologise. I'll see you again soon. I had a great time. I'm just getting over the festival blues since I've been back. Um, look, I mean, the house is a tip. Looks like Christmas in here. I've had a 
I've bought a double bed, I've had to buy a mattress, I've bought a TV mount, I've bought a brand new Hoover. Um, that stuff might be in a vlog coming up, but it's not going to make much sense, it's all out of order. Also, I found something out while I was editing the first vlog, which I wasn't very happy about. Bit of weight bait for you. All in all, download was fantastic. Uh, I've had great response to the first vlog. This one is all different footage. It's the same festival though. It might have a slightly different vibe, especially with all this. But um, thanks for watching and cheers to Download Festival.